Today I am going to be giving you a tour of one of the biggest stores Ship delivers from, Meyer. This one is located on the corner of Telegraph and 12 Mile Road in Southfield, Michigan. At stores with two entrances, choosing where to park is an important first step. I am usually coming in from the 12 mile entrance and you want to avoid the busy front section of the parking lot where many people are going to be walking and slow you down. So I park in this first row on the home side near a cart return where it is easy to cross at the stop sign. Parking in the same row each day you shop makes it easier to find your car when you exit the store. It's also important to note that most Myers will lock the home side doors at 9 p.m. There is another exit in the back of the parking lot as well. I always start my shop with a cart wipe. Even when not in a pandemic, I wipe down all sides that I may touch on the cart and I keep the wipe in case I run into anything sticky or wet in the store. The first thing you need to know is that Meyer has a precise location code system for nearly every item in the catalog. This includes the aisle number, shelf number, and spot on the shelf. Typically, I start shopping on the home entrance side to pick up all non-food items first. Pharmacy and personal care items will be labeled as HBC in the Shift app. At this store, HBC aisle 1 is located closest to the customer service desk. And then up here, some stores, not all stores, will have what aisle you're in. So we're in number seven. And so it starts with shelf number one. Behind me, you can see hair curling irons in spot number one. And directly across will be shelf number 30. That shelf number is going to tell you which side of the aisle it's going to be on. And then the last number is going to tell you if it's near the top, middle, or bottom of the shelf. Look closely at the price labels for tiny location codes that will look like HBC 072819. That means we are in aisle 7 at shelf 28 looking at spot 19. HBC aisle 0 will be at the back wall where this store has feminine care. The last few aisles after HBC will be cosmetics. Do pay attention to HPC and seasonal end caps for popular items, which right now are hand sanitizer and masks. Then this store has seasonal, which right now is school supplies. And if you need any other non-food items, I grab them in a U-shaped pattern. There will be a few DIY aisles that contain light bulbs, wall hooks and hanging tabs, bathroom fixtures, box fans and space heaters, spray paint, those types of miscellaneous things. There's also an auto section. Office supplies will appear as stacked. There's sporting goods. Electronics will appear as ELEC, and this is where you will find all types of batteries. Most of the time, you will ignore the closed section completely. Although I have had requests for underwear, socks, those things would be added as a special request. SFTH, that is soft homes, so like pillows, sheets, bath towels, and rugs are going to be in this section. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed with dish towels. Oh my gosh! She has so many. Lemons! Guys, lemons. Look, food print in general after working this job, I love it. Across the aisle here is pet. This includes birds, cats, dogs, fish, and caged animals. We do not deliver any live animals. None. 
cleaning supplies and paper goods will be closest to the food grocery items and will appear as cons. That's usually you know, where the good COVID supplies are, if they have anything. So in this store we have candles in the back and then crafts and then the labels say HRDH. So this is like kitchen supplies, appliances, supplies for sparkling bubbly water at home, and large Keurig coffee cup boxes. So then we have HSOL, Home Solutions. This is going to include additional cleaning products, Mrs. Meyer brand cleaning products is going to be on an end cap and we're going to have storage bins and totes here as well. If you need the H Soul <laughs> trash bags, that's where it looks like trash cans, which seasonal's right behind us here through the baby section. I cut through that very often. Okay. The most annoying things to buy a little stuff that dangles on the shelves. Oh yeah. Yeah, toilet paper and paper towel right now, it's just a mess. Don't even worry about the aisle locations. So in the back here at this store we have coffee and dairy. Dairy products in Meyer will be in one of three places. Dairy aisle zero is back here in aisle 13 with sliced cheese and shelf one, then shredded, string and snack cheese, cream cheese, breakfast drinks, butter. Specialty cheeses will be found in the deli section. There will also be a dairy 15 section, usually opposite from the dairy zero section because things like orange juice are usually out of stock a lot. So that's why you check those and cap coolers. <laughs> and then right in this store, we have 12 is baking and fruits. That's why I bring my cooler bags into the store so I can pick up dairy items as I go, but I wait until I get to the meat section to ask about substitutions. Okay, so we're in aisle 10. Um, so I know salad dressings will say aisle 10 and we'll have a high shelf number. So they're going to be on this side. If it has a low shelf number like the soups, it'll be on this side. So right, you can see right here, this is shelf 49. If you can find these sales stickers, it'll be easier to read the numbers. To become a super shopper, pay attention to those shelf numbers. You won't have to go all the way down one aisle if you know which end of the aisle the item's located at. Also, grab dairy items as you work your way through the store. Free section is in aisle nine. Like it's ingrained no matter what store you go into, that breakfast is aisle nine. <laughs> so breakfast, right? You're gonna have your peanut butter, jellies, pancakes. You're gonna have your toaster pastries, um, granola bars, and it's gonna be organized. Healthiest is on that side to so least healthiest. You'll you'll notice that in in the app kind of based on the numbers and of course they're going to change it around and flip it whenever they feel like so don't get too comfortable. <laughs> Pop quiz, what was on the end cap after dairy? Now for some grocery store logic. Tortillas will be on an end cap near tortilla shells or other taco supplies. Mac and cheese will be with boxed instant dinners usually opposite or one aisle away from pasta. In the international section, you'll find Asian vegetables and sauces, British foods, Indian, Mediterranean, and kosher. So a big thing when it comes to drinks is to look in these middle sections. Sometimes they'll have water, pops, um, this one. It's like, and look, another shopper. <laughs> <laughs> Or big lemon and lime. That's gonna be by your juices. Lime. 
lemon. Don't forget about giant pineapple juice cake. Yes, so that's a confusing thing. If you want pineapple fruit, it's gonna be like with the other fruit. If you want juice, it's gonna be with the other juice. And then, honestly, the thing I hate shopping for the most is candy, because the aisle will be so empty. I'm used to going big. That's right, you'll have your popcorns, your pretzels, your chips, your crackers. I'm like still butthurt over aisle six, rearranging, where they put the Cheez-Its and the Oreo cookies. Um, and then you're gonna have your healthy chips aisle, if you're at the Meyer. And that looks like this. And you're gonna have your jerky aisle. So there'll be a lot of popular jerkies in the deli. But this is where I look if I need a substitution. So in the beginning, if you don't wanna worry about alcohol, I didn't do alcohol orders for a whole year. So I think yogurt's pretty easy. It's organized right now from kids to most healthy. Sometimes we'll be organized most healthy to kids. Lunchables can also be debated in existence. Everybody wants turkey and American. What do they have? Turkey and cheddar. They don't even have turkey right now. <laughs> okay, so something to look for in the frozen aisles, because they will rearrange the frozen aisles on you. You've got the big frozen chickens and stuff in these little coolers. And we have like a mini frozen shelf here. And you might have like pizza by your beer. That's very common in stores. But this one right now is set up for appetizers, Mexican appetizers. Um, so you'll see that as item three. Oh, if they don't have a location code, usually the blue black labels are very good. You usually find frozen fruit and pies on the opposite end from ice cream. Frozen bread will often not be found by the frozen pastries, uh, but in its own section with frozen garlic toast and breadsticks. And there will be another section for frozen gluten-free bread. And Ezekiel bread will often be found either with the breadsticks or with the gluten-free bread, even though it is not gluten-free. A heads up about the app categories. They're not always going to make sense. Something the veteran shoppers dealt with for a long time was that yogurt was always under snacks. I've seen Oreos under Frozen and granola bars listed as personal care, so always take a look at your full list for any miscategorized items. Meat end caps are so important. You're gonna find popular items. Ground turkey. Burger patty. So in the ground beef section, you will also find the patties, and you'll find the ground turkey in this store. In other stores, sometimes turkey is just the aisle by itself, depending on the kind of people shop there. also become more popular is plant-based protein. Fresh ground, crumbled, sausage, and patties will be in the meat section. There will also be a March frozen section and tofu section I talked about in my produce guide video from this same store. So it's got the frozen burgers, frozen meatballs, it's got frozen cheesecake, other frozen goodies. So bread section, always check in those dates. Like this one? Actually, get to September 7th. That's amazing. Normally, you get like even 26. That's pretty good. 25th, 
24. Here we go. These are for the 24th. Today's probably the 24th, I think. I always check your phone on what day it is. <laughs> so then, like, Russo's Bakery. This brand is usually a good substitute. Because their days are usually smaller. But then, like, the discount part, you kind of want to avoid because you want the best date possible. For most Myers, you cannot call ahead or leave a list to place a deli or meat counter order. For State Fair Zone Meyer on 8 Mile Road, this is the only exception I've seen where they provide paper and pencils for ship shoppers to place orders and come back for them later. So my advice with the deli and the meat counter, um, if I'm not doing the backwards you, I'll hit those first. So it depends. If I don't need anything that's non food, I'm going to hit those first because the line's going to be longest. While you're waiting for the deli, you can start picking out your produce. Alright, so we are headed to checkout where we're going to pass floral. And don't forget extra candy and snacks may be by the checkout. You also have party decorations and cards. And that is just about it for this Meyer trip. Hopefully these tips help you get through Meyer faster and may the lines be ever short.